At least 20 people have been injured in a car bomb that exploded in front of a government building. This is in southern Thailand. It happened in the city of Yala, where officials were holding a meeting to discuss the spread of uh, coronavirus. Wayne Hay with us now from Bangkok on Skype. Wayne, take us through what you know. Yes, well, as you mentioned, this took place in Yala province uh, in the morning. This is one of the three southernmost provinces of Thailand bordering Malaysia. And in those three southern provinces, there is an armed Muslim separatist uh, group operating or several groups operating. They are fighting for independence or greater autonomy from Thailand and have been doing so for years. Thailand is, of course, a predominantly Buddhist country. So these groups regularly stage attacks in the three southernmost provinces. Uh, they are usually relatively small in nature, usually uh, gun attacks, uh, small bomb attacks, targeting security forces, government uh, buildings, as was the case uh, just a few hours ago, and also anyone that is seen to be sympathetic to the government in Bangkok. Uh, as I say, uh, there are several groups operating in uh, southern Thailand, but there really is, in recent years anyway, one main group that is believed to be behind much of the violence, that is BRN, Barisan Revolusi Nacional, or the National Revolutionary Front. Uh, we believe uh, that it's highly likely that the BRN was behind uh, this bomb attack outside a government building where there were several local government leaders meeting with military officials as well, as you say, uh, talking about coronavirus and how best to tackle uh, this situation uh, in southern Thailand. What makes this attack uh, particularly interesting is one of the bombs, there were two bombs outside that building, one of them was a car bomb, uh, which is does happen in southern Thailand, but they are relatively rare. The second thing is that we seem to have entered a new round of peace talks. Beginning in January, uh, the Thai government met with leaders of the separatist groups in Kuala Lumpur. They've had two meetings so far this year. What makes those meetings interesting is that BRN, again, the uh, group to be believed to be behind most of the violence in southern Thailand, was present at the table. In the past, in recent peace talks, we haven't seen the key leadership of BRN taking part in those peace talks. So there was real hope that perhaps we were heading down a new path towards some sort of sustainable peace. Uh, peace rather. So it seems perhaps uh, if this was BRN, perhaps they are sending a message uh, that they are not happy so far with any progress that has or hasn't been made out of those two rounds of peace talks. Thank you for that update, Wayne Hay in Bangkok.